With the summer drawing to a close, it's time for us to have a look around the server and see what the builders have been up to over the last few months. Now, we're starting off with a creation that was meant to be revealed back on July the 4th, and uh, I, I was meant to film this back then, but this it never happened. So anyway, we're here to see Dev's version of the Statue of Liberty. So he's written me a little blurb for this place. Mainly meant to be a showcase of the statue, as the grounds are not complete. A project orchestrated by me, I was helped by Solar on the pedestal and on the trees by Akira. The island is a very big whip, the pub, the Patriot is not finished and does not have an interior. Please enjoy this as my horrible present to the viewers for the 4th of July. NYC on the way. Well, that's Dev's little opening point for this. Now, while he said the island isn't finished yet, I still think it's probably worth us having a look around this place. And of course, I want to show you guys the Statue of Liberty. Now, obviously in our world, the United Territories, as they're known now, uh, sorry, the United Territories of the Commonwealth are still part of the White Bergian wider Commonwealth. So the Statue of Liberty itself isn't the, s the most significant statue of sort of independence and liberty like it is in the real world. How to wind up the Americans quite quickly. But here it still exists as a beautiful statue of the ideas that are represented by the United territories of the commonwealth the statue itself is beautiful it's mainly made out of a uh, green prismarine is it green prismarine or is it just prismarine i don't know why where did the word green come from and this blends in really nicely there's a few little details around the place you've got uh, a couple of trap doors which help add a little bit of structure to that side you can actually see why it's like a little little bit of a curve out there and up here in the eyes what do we have here or oh, a couple of couple of uh, buttons here for the eyes and a stair for the nose with a debugged bit of wall above it. I think that works really nicely. And then we come up to the lantern itself. Uh, there's a few little bits of detailing around here again. Uh, walls doing what they normally do. And then we have the flame on top. This is made out of glow lichen. Okay, on top of... I, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, shroom lights. I forgot about shroom lights. Wow, I haven't even used them myself yet. And this will be featuring on the uh, approach to NYC, New York City, when Dev and the team get around to uh, building it. I, I believe it is work in progress right now. More than likely will be shown off in this year, if not 2024. Oh, do you know, it sounds so crazy saying the words 2024 uh, and thinking that is the year coming up in only three months. I started doing these server update tours back in 2020. That's insane anyway let's have a little wander around i'm not sure like we said there was much to see but even just looking up here you can see the pedestal itself has a, quite a lot of detail in it as well so we go up through a varying amount of colors lots of heavy oranges here which are quite nice really does help bring in a uh, a sandstony texture again to it with normal sandstone it kind of looks a bit too yellow uh, hence why even our texture pack we've actually changed that up now is there stuff inside you can Oh, there is a room in here. Okay, so eventually this may become an actual space and this might be a lift shaft up the middle or a walkway, but these are viewing areas. And I've just popped out the back here and, and already I can see some more detailing over here. So these are the trees that were built by Akira. And also, I guess that building there is the Patriot Pub. Now, I say the Patriot Pub in that sort of way is because I think eventually we will uh, come back to this place on the... Uh, the annual Christmas pub crawl, which you guys have known to love. Um, and that's where we bring 24 days of pubs to you. And that involves me and the team going around and just enjoying what there is to offer on uh, across Whiteburg and beyond. You can already go back and watch the last two years worth of antics. Uh, let's just say it does take a turn and it's never a good turn. Wow, this is quite a cool obelisk. So it's a quite skinny one. Uh, I don't know, there's no information on it. I guess it's a real one. Um, so if you want to let me know in the comments below what it is, I should have looked it up before we came in. But um, but this is this is really cool. I like the little details. And for the ground, we've gone for light grey terracotta mixed in with some granite. Uh, and that does give a nice texture as opposed to using, let's say, like brown mushroom blocks or even um, sand to uh, have a gravelly road. So moving on over here, we've got this little area, which is the Patriot, as written on the front. Hey, that looks pretty cool. I think we will obviously come back here later in the year. Uh, I'm guessing there's a real life version of this. Uh, these are cool windows. So it's quite hard, especially in our scale, to try and do windows one block wide. But this works here. This works very nicely. So what's happened is you debug out the uh, middle section of the window panes. So in our texture pack, we do already have window panes with 
little bit of a board around them. So this allows you to uh, debug the middle section out, so it's pointing outwards, and you can form a double paned window as opposed to having you know a two block wide window which would push the scale and the size of the building out quite a bit now these are really well used for windows that are quite small especially if they're a part of a, a triplet or just a double window as we've got here where the details would make more sense them joining up together um, so that's a nice neat little idea there to keep in your mind what's this here we've got the statue of liberty info hello is there anyone in no i'm all alone oh that got a bit dark Anyway, we're not done yet. We've got a few other little bits to show you here. We've got some views. So once this place is covered in trees, which is what I imagine all of these little bits of green are showing, this is this is going to be a killer view here. So you're going to come stand here and you're going to have a, a bushy bit around the bottom, if you don't mind my uh, double entendre there. And then a rising through the top will be the green pinnacle of the Lady of Liberty. Uh, we've got a nice little seating area here so you can sit down and, and enjoy the views or, or slip straight through the views and put your feet through the chair. Uh, while having a beverage in the Patriot. Now, what's this over here? So this is probably where you come on. Um, I like this. Good details up in here. Uh, nice A-frame building. Uh, this will be where all the passengers come on. Uh, it's quite a high up section. And there we go. Right. I wasn't going to show you that. But yes, the, uh, the bottom of the island isn't visible. Not visible. Physical. Yes. All right. Well, that's probably all we got to show you here around the Statue of Liberty Island. It's a beautiful structure which will form a, a very nice part of the United Territories of the Commonwealth. Shall we move on to our next location? So you find me here in Loading's new town of Stallybridge, a small town located between Glossop and Ashton. The town features a tram network, two large manors, Cheefham Park and Stamford Park. Currently the main road into Stallybridge is being constructed called Morton Road. The road runs alongside Cheefham Park with a large tennis court and allotments along the side. At the end of the road, there'll be a small mill that overlooks a park. Right, so this is Loading's first go at building an English town. And he's started off with somewhere a bit close to Manchester, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I have just described it's near Glossop, but I'm not entirely sure where Glossop is. Is it pronounced Glossop? I don't know. Well, anyway, we have some beautiful views to show you today and a lot of, um, is that, is that, what? <laughs> is that a dragon? <laughs> um, I don't think I don't think that should be here. And oh, uh, okay, right. There's a few whip things that are behind Loading's Town that are, are coming through the, the uh, sort of paintwork, oozing through the roof that they shouldn't be. So instead, let's take a little wander around and see some beautiful little houses. So over here, we already have a nice Georgian abode sitting here at the end of the road behind quite a nice tree-lined avenue which has a steep camber to it not steep camber a steep rise to it but behind all of these houses are beautiful gardens with hedges adorned with oh, we've even got cars in here so loading is definitely a king of detail he enjoys making sure everything has as much life as possible see even down here even though the emeralds are slightly too green they do work as a little way of saying hey look there's some leaves down at the bottom of the ground it's those small little details that a lot of people miss when building something that really does give it a little chef's kiss sort of pop of satisfaction that makes it go yes that's very nice so we have a couple of victorian houses here these are your typical sort of mid to late victorian houses uh, we've got a ground floor bay going up through into two gabled ends now these are very grand buildings uh, loading is also known for his ambitious texturing should i say where he will use varying blocks to try and convey several different colors that run through a, uh, a structure in real life and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i think this one works quite nicely you can tell there's definitely a lot of different colors in those bricks in real life so should we move on up i think behind the dragon or near the dragon how do we get into here um ah there's a little gate here right so if we wander back down this way i wanted to show you the allotment gardens so we're coming through here into a beautiful little allotment varying places to walk and go a nice little path so this is using hay blocks so in our texture pack hay looks like that or should i stand in the sun that uh so it's a slightly different color than what you expect normal hay looks like this hmm <laughs> so whenever i see hay being used i kind of forget that we changed it so much um it's good it's fine most of these builds are only ever going to be viewed using the wbc builds texture pack but i do forget that that is what hay looks like without the texture on who changed this 
Oh, it was MS Builds, yes. It was MS Builds. During the height of the change. Look, none of these buildings have changed in any shape, way, or form. Apart from sandstone, maybe it being a little bit lighter. Um, but hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. Anyway, that's a, a sidetrack moment. Right, moving swiftly on. I want to have a quick little wander through the allotments. We have a little greenhouse over here. Good greenhouse design. Very simple, very effective. Inside, we have some varying plants being grown. And we have open fields and a bit more details going on. But what's quite nice is it gives a good view for the houses opposite along the uh, quite wide road, being able to, you know, view across into the allotments. Uh, and it's a good use of space as well because we've got a bit of a, a change in level. So this side down here is a lot lower than the road. And you get yourself a nice little wall across the back there. But we've, we've got some interesting little designs here. So these are, I don't really know, like bushes or something. But they've got a section of, um, let's say, uh, a trellis underneath it growing up. Or it could be they are, that's the bottom bit of the bush. Oh, that's a nice little view. Good bit of symmetry there. Hello, good day, sir. And we've come across our first shed. Ooh. Oh, there's something in the shed. Normally you find something in the shed that uh, you probably don't particularly want to find in the shed. Good morning, sir. And we're moving through here to another section of of uh, oh greenhouse, but this one's a black greenhouse, almost a cast iron, and this is much more Victorian. I I rather like that. I think that's a very nice greenhouse design. Come with me today, guys, where we discuss greenhouse designs for at least fifteen minutes because I haven't done this for ages. <laughs> and once I get on a roll, you know how I go. So anyway, lovely greenhouse. Um, oh, what's what's over here? Oh more allotments to be made. And then a quite a nice hedge at the end of the road here. This has got several different blocks in it. Uh, I like the ferns in there, along with the bits of grass. And I think that, that works quite nicely. Now it is getting a little bit framey around here. And that's because while loading does do very nice buildings, the uh, the, the extra entities and, and such do cause a slight bit of lag. Although something maybe growing up in the background will try and ignore that again. So should we wander back up the road a bit more? We've got some tram lines going through. Lots of cars leading down here. So this is definitely a main road into a town. So we have more houses along here. We've got another Georgian type affair. Mm, actually, no, this might be more a Victorian double terraced. No, I do think Georgian. I do think Georgian. Uh, and we have an interesting plant out the front. Oh, what's this using? Oh, drip leaf. Ah, big drip leaf. Interesting. Must be uh, ways of doing that. And what? Yes. I... Uh, Good little, good little textures, good little details. We have some women pushing a pram, and we have more houses going through here. Now, it's just a myriad of designs through here. This is looking good, loading. It's nice to have another town being built with inside Whiteburg. Um, so this is Stally Bridge, and I do hope we have more of this to come. Ah, we've got a little place called Ashton. Ah, that's what we were saying, yes. It's between the towns of Glossop and Ashton. Nice bus design. Oh, it's not a bus, is it? Clearly, it's got... A cantry above it so it must be a tram and it's on tram tracks actually that, that's quite a nice design take note on that and obviously when taking note you must credit loading as the original builder um, and with any things you come across on here that you go oh i'm gonna have a go at building that feel free to have a go at building it but make sure you credit the original builder but when you go to post it somewhere that's all we can ask Yes, I think that's that's the most appropriate way to do things. Now, this is a house that I actually helped loading um, shape properly, let's say. So he had an original design for this, and it wasn't quite the right shape. So we went through a few iterations of it, and I really like how this turned out. So this is definitely a late Georgian house, possibly 1820s, 1830s. What's quite nice is it looks to have an interior. So we'll wander on across the threshold. Sorry, sir, I don't mean to be uh, minding you. Uh, I'm just going to pop on in. I see your wife's cooking something. So we come through into a very nice white hallway. If we take a left, we end up in the living room. And the, is that the wife? Or is that a child? That's probably a child. And we have lots of details in here, but this is very pleasant. I like the trim around the top. So we've got the architrave, but it's in blue. Um, and the coving, oh, sorry, the coving's in blue. And then we've got the architrave across the top of the roof there. Yeah, nice little fireplace. Very Victorian. It's almost a granity sort of texture to it. We got some good light coming in through here. Very lovely sized room. Uh, interesting carpet design as well. Yeah, I like that. You got that sort of scratchy. I can already think exactly how that feels on my feet. And we got some bookshelves behind us. But here is a piano. You can sit here and twinkle away at the keys upon the piano. Don't worry, I've gone all deep. Uh, in here is, I would say the uh, the drawing room, the sort of the second reception room, the reading room. Bit colder in this room. 
Move on through to the back. We have more rooms down here. This is a very large house, this. The toilet, ground floor, and we can jump in and have a shower. And we move on through then into the back room. So there's three reception rooms in this house. Crikey, that's, that's very good. Very nice. <laughs> it's a big building. Uh, I don't know why I'm so shocked by that. Nice little details again around the top here. Uh, good use of room. Uh, it feels very nice and homely in here. Oh. Let's not look out of that. We can then move out here to... This place must be almost semi manor type. Um, move out to the back here. We've got another bathroom. Very spacious. Oh, very nice. This is clearly an extension built on at some point. I like how I've turned into almost Homes on the Hammer. So you come through into this other room. What other room? Well, this room clearly was built at some point. Uh, and it can be yours for the low, low price of 117000 Ah, this must be the dining room. Now, I haven't seen the kitchen yet. Uh, we are floating in the air by the looks of it. Is this the kitchen? No. No. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go back up. <laughs> it's not the usual things you see in the basement. Now, where is the kitchen? I, I don't think there's a kitchen. Unless unless we've missed it. Is this the kitchen? No. Is this the No, this isn't the kitchen. I don't know. Let's go upstairs. Very nice rooms. Good use of space. Wandering in here, lots of light coming in through the windows. Lovely picture of Wub on the walls, good dresser. Hey, this is very pleasant. Good job on this loading, I like this interior. And great views then across the tramway and over there onto the tennis courts. You can hear all the grunting now. Um, and then we've got one more room here, a bit of storage, a bit of, oh, it's the, the sort of office, the writing room. And then what looks to be more rooms will, have, will eventually be built in this house. Um, but still, no, this is a very, very pleasant house. A little skylight there to let some light in on the staircase. Right, let's head on back outside. So I alluded to it, and now I wish to go actually view it. Let's have a run across the street and, uh, and go see this tennis court. So what does this say then? Stally Bridge Tennis Court. New members are welcome. Tennis balls not provided. Ah, we got to bring our own balls. That's fine by me. Ah, this is a nice little building. So this must be the clubhouse. Let's have a little quick fly around. Yeah, this feels like a clubhouse, doesn't it? So, oh, there's a lot of details there. Oh, no. I know what this is. So this is the park. So this is one of the big houses. I don't think he's built the house as such yet, but this is like the entrance to the park. And we've got some sort of little... Ah, oh, an archery event. Ah, now let's have a look. Are there, there are bows in here, but it doesn't seem to be supplying arrows. So let me quickly conjure some up. Right, we'll be ready. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, not bad. I've never been one to actually uh, do a very good job. But I, what am I actually using? These are spectral arrows. <laughs> and one for luck. One more. And one more. Ah, no. Too good. Well, it's a nice little touch. Good little bit of uh, detailing here, loading. I like this. I've just destroyed your, your bow you left in there, and you've now got a block of never right. But, I mean, you know, it's a good trade. I can, I can see that being very useful for, for things. So eventually, if we go off down here, we'll come to, yes, more parkland and, and such. I'm going to leave that. I don't think that's, that's worthy of being shown off yet. I think we'll come back to this in the future. Um, let's have a quick look at these tennis courts from the air. Now, so I think this is where most of my lag's coming from. So the tennis courts are very much made from, uh, underneath here are item frames? No, signs, I think. And they've had bits of grass pushed on it, but this is a great detail. You've got your double lines there. You've got your, your backstop line here. You've got your, your serving areas. Yes, very nice. Good little detail here as well. Ah, loading. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and I'm really impressed with it all. It's good to see your... I think this is your first town on the server. No. What am I saying? Paris. Paris is yours. Yes. No. So this is your first English town on the server. Let's go with that. And we've got a game going on here. Sorry, guys. Mario and Luigi are battling it out over the back here. Perfect, right. Well, that's enough of Stally Bridge today. Let us now move on to another location. So we're here in a place that hasn't been shown off yet. This is the town or the city of Caldun in our version of Scotland, which I know Chris started along with a few other builders 
more than a year ago, and it's been slowly but surely being built up by a varying member of um, of, of, of the Discord and of the uh, of the building community. Now, I'm not going to show off much more of the town apart from this today is our place to view. This is the Cali, a late Victorian rail terminal servicing Edinburgh that was expanded to include a hotel built of red sandstone in Victorian and Scottish banioral style. I can't say that word. <laughs> Let's try it again. Victorian and Scottish banioral style. Please enter through the red screen on the uh, right hand side. Well, we will do that in a second. But I should say, this is a building by Solar. Solar Centurion, our one and only god of building. He loves the stuff. And this is a beautiful, beautiful building. Yes, yeah, Solar, I do stand by that comment. It wasn't just a wick of the tongue. Love it. So this really does give me that sort of late Victorian um, high gothic vibes to it very nice the colors are beautiful on there uh, i like the little bits of texturing you've gone for in here these would have been hand placed texturing as well sexy and we've got some sort of relief down here which i don't know if it's meant to have a statue in or not but still very nice the whole building is grand but what's interesting is as you can see here this front has been built as a diagonal now when we go around the side you'll see it becomes more apparent how very diagonal this building is so we'll roll on around here looking up as we do enjoying the views and the uh, the, the diagonalness of it. Now, I'm put off by building a lot of diagonals just because I, it scares me, but it shouldn't because diagonals really do add so much to a town that if you do it, you'll never regret it. I think that's the best way to describe it. So here we are in the carriage entrance around the side. Very nice screen here. And we were already greeted by our first oddity, let's say. This is a diagonal car. Yep. Yeah. They exist and they look very nice. I need to, uh, I need to borrow this for Whiteburg City along those other diagonals we built last time. And we have Matey here waiting to let them in. Now we come on through into a splendor of glass and cast iron. Welcome to the station, the actual main forecourt. And just look, look at the grandness here. Look at the smoke bellowing there. It's actually moving as well. Oh, that's an interesting touch. I like that. Coral really does work there. The place itself is very grand and open. And what I love most about these stations is when you've got the, the towering hotel behind it. And then when you're on the on the ground here, you see the buildings, uh, the windows and the building above it coming through the open glass roof, the train shed. Really does work very nicely. Now, I, I think before we even go along inside it, we should have a look at the outside of it because this is a masterpiece of engineering. So we start here with a very curved section of street coming through here and then we end up with this huge train shed built entirely at a diagonal and it is just fabulous and this goes off down through here now i'm not showing the rest of the cities because as you can see it's all planned out but nothing's been built yet so it's kind of in the works so here we are at the back of the train shed Looking back down, it's very long, it's very good. And we're greeted by a diagonal train. I forgot to say the ones down there are also diagonal. How? I mean, it's incredible. There's so much detail on it still. It works so well. And I think it's, is it based on Thomas the Tank Engine? I'm going to say it's a Thomas the Tank Engine. And I've now got the song stuck in my head. Um, so I hope you too as well. Let's run on down the platform here, back to where we were. And already we're getting some good views here, like we've got some clocks coming up and the buffers at the end. So we've reached the end of these tracks here and you can see these train buffers here are quite a cool design. Now I'm not using the uh, better walls pack, which I really probably should start using now. I don't know what's my reason for not using it at all. Anyway, uh, so they work quite nice in the diagonal. I've just noticed actually these are platform signage. So this is six, that says seven. So we've got five, four, three, two, and one. So there's seven platforms here, and it's quite the, uh, I would say the engineering marvel for a Minecraft build is beautiful. So what we got over here, I like this. A really impressive clock up there. Nice shopping area. We've got a little restaurant here. It's, it's all 
very nice solar i think i think you've done a great job with this is what i'm trying to say and i can't wait to see where this the city goes i've not worked on it at all and i think we need to reserve it for a probably a video by itself to explain exactly what's going on up here and the way it's being done still i think it's time now to move on to our next location so we are here in the town of blandford forum uh, built by Deltic. Now we actually showed this place off during the live stream back in June where it was the open house for the garden pies and we had a little wander around the, uh, the market streets of Blanford so if you haven't seen that go check that video out. It's a bit of a mess but it's a good bit of fun and we will be doing another open house at some point soon uh, I believe either Halloween or Christmas so put that in your diaries for uh, another event like that where we open the server up for 24 hours and allow a hundred people to join at once to enjoy everything it's more you can keep joining for the day it's just open for 24 hours and max limit is 100 anyway blanford forum is a small market town in rural linfordshire built between 1735 and onwards it is a real place i have been here and i have also experienced this church and this view in real life now deltic says here in this little blurb he's written immediately visible is the church of saint peter and saint paul with its proposed steeple rather than the copula today now the copula it does have today is currently sitting on my version of the same church which is actually over here in Whiteburg City, sitting next to the uh, the Greenwich House and the main building. So this this was my version of it, built I don't know two years ago, 21. Yeah, two years ago. Um, and this was the copula it has on top, uh, and you can see, you know, there are some similarities in design. Um, if we go back to see Deltic's one, he's gone for the steeple on top, and obviously, you know, a bit more of an updated, more modern way of building things, but still very much the same church. Uh, and I like, I do like how there are two versions of this church on here, because of the way it actually had two different steeples and, and two different tower designs. So we found ourselves out here in a little park around the back. Let's wander back into town, uh, and I want to show you around a few little things. Oh, is there a bit of a, oh, there's a, there's a ceremony going on. Oh, right. Oh. Sorry for your loss, sorry for your loss, sorry for your loss. I thought they were robbing that grave, but it seems to be they're putting someone back in. Anyway, let's move on into the middle of town. Now, we're going to see a large white building, which is the Corn Exchange. Uh, and we'll go have a look at that in a second. That's a beautiful view, that. I remember standing here in real life, looking up, doing the same thing. Um, oh, nice little clock design there as well. But that is, when, when you get a church that does that, gives everything, takes it all the way up to the top, and works very well. So we're moving on now into the main high street, uh, where a lot of the main shops are. The market goes on through here, and we have buildings going all the way up through to there. Lots of hustle and bustle going on, people and cars everywhere. It's a lovely little town, and I'm really impressed with the, uh, the sheer details here. Uh, Dell tickets looking very good. We have the Red Lion Pub. Now I uh, will make a request. Could you uh, could you put an interior in that for old, you know, for the Christmas pub crawls? Uh, we'll see how that goes. That'd be a nice little touch as well. We can come back to Linford. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, Olive's Flowers. I see. Anyway, this is the Corn Market building. Let's change the lights around. That's a nice building. Lots of details here again. Very large windows at the front. And we have a little little spire up there on the top. A bit of gold on there. I think it's probably a weather vane in real life. And we have another building next to it, the Sun Inn. Oh, this. Oh, Deltic, I'm getting ideas. You could open up a few of these for the pub crew. I think we could have a little uh, little Blanford Forum arc in the, in the tour this year. Now, let's have a look at that view there. That is a stunner, isn't it? That church really does work very well here. And the story goes, this town burnt down in about 18, no, in 1730 and was rebuilt by a couple of brothers whose name, if I say on here, will probably get me demonetized. It's a very strange name. It really does work very well. Good stuff. So it's really coming together here, Deltic, and I can't wait to see where the rest of this town goes. But so far, you have a very pleasant section of houses. Oh, there's a little alleyway down here. Now, here's the story. I actually had lunch in this building here while looking at that alleyway there. Anyway, there was that. So that is Deltic's town of Blanford Forum. And like I said, I can't wait to come back here for varying reasons. One of which, it looks like you've got a few pubs that we can probably tour at Christmas. Anyway, guys, it's time to move on to our final location. And you may be saying final location. Well, the two fan favorites, the towns of Linford upon Avon and San Alexandro, have become very large, and over the last three months or so, uh, Bergie and Goblin respectively have been building a lot, and uh, I just felt it wasn't fair on everyone to lump it all into one very long video. So you'll be getting this video, 
plus a standalone video for Burgess Town San Alexandro and another standalone video after that for Goblins Town of Linford upon Avon. So please stick around, subscribe to the channel, make sure you are here for those because there's a lot to show you. There's been a lot to show you in this video so far. We're not done yet. Let's go to our final location. We have arrived here at the Marble House. This is Akira's first build on the server. Let me read the little blurb she's written about it. The luxurious cottage was built as a gift for Alva Vanderbilt in 1892. It's architecturally remarkable because of its countless rooms in all sorts of different styles. It's also one of the earliest example of the Bayer Arts architecture in the US. I have built full interior for the two main floors of the building, 30 out of 50 rooms. Gardens are slightly denser to make it more walkable Wow. Okay, right. So we haven't we we've got 30 rooms to go look around. I'm not entirely sure if well let's, let's just get going, shall we? Should we have a look around the whole building? Now coming up to it is a gorgeous building. Look at all that detail in there as well. Really nicely done. The capitals of those columns. Uh, love the diorite throughout. Really does offset that white nicely. Your beautiful trees are lining the walkway through here. And I haven't seen stone slabs used for a very long time. It's a nice touch. It's a good colour. I do like that. Now, there's a bit of framing around here. I'm not entirely sure why. There's probably a lot of stuff inside here. So as we go in, we'll probably drop off on the frame rate a little bit. That's a nice touch as well. Nice zigzag through the middle there, like someone's mowed the lawn at a diagonal. I do like that. Do you know, that harks me back to very early days of Minecraft. It's realistic buildings where people would always do their lawns looking like it's been cut very nicely. Right, anyway, I'm, I'm walking probably on some grass I shouldn't be. We've got some, some cars over here. There's so much going on in this place already. So many details. Oh, I do love a very, very detailed large country house, even if this is classed as a luxurious cottage <laughs> with... 50 rooms inside it right let's take a little fly around the outside so we've got ooh, a little basement down there but the building itself nice fairly simple affair i imagine it's probably got a couple of oh oh yeah there goes the lag <laughs> wow that's a nice rear entrance to it as well oh that's very smart i like that that's a nice it's a very compact building but like you say it's it's got a fair few rooms inside it so we're gonna venture inside in a second good little details on the roof here and we'll come down onto here let's quickly change the time around so we can see it properly oh yeah that does look very nice all right then let's fly on up or shall we actually let's walk on up and embrace a little bit more of the details as we go around lovely flag hanging from there the flag of the united territories of the commonwealth right fingers crossed we can get through this without the computer crashing but beautiful oh wow i love the gold the gold touches in here very nice indeed so we'll take a wander off to the right oh my wow oh, i haven't seen what this looks like in real life but this must be a very i want to say garish room with just the amount of gold in it incredible details as well so this is the, the main dining room then this is beautiful so are these i want to say are they, i don't know if they're stag heads or just circles of, of gold right we've got two rooms over this side oh some sort of pantry with a curtain there and we've got little curtain holders there as well great touch through here oh this is again a little storeroom ah this is how you turn off round at the back of the oh where are i'm already lost right we've come through here oh there's a hello there's a cat who uh seems to be dinner boned here in the middle of the hallway oh has it been have you been dropped oh how sad oh oh i'm feeling it Right, let's try and wander through this way. We were just wandering around here. So we've got a lovely view out there onto the patio. And if we turn back this way, we've got... Oh, another entrance. It's, it's quite windy, this place. And then we've got... Ah, nothing down there. Okay, it's come back up. Uh, where does this lead? Does this take us up? Is this the, the servant's passage up the back? I think it might be. Yep, it will be. Okay, right. Well, let's, let's go back down <laughs> the graceful way and pop out this way. Oh, it's a nice little reading room library at the back. Very fancy while you overlook the gardens. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we've got a lovely, lovely picture of Wub there, always. Always stuff. Right, well, let's get the ground floor done before we move on up to the uh, the upper stairs. Nice little veranda area. Oh, I can see myself having breakfast out on this patio. Ah, uh, very nice. Palm trees are great. They, they're a really good touch to this as well. But look at the way these, these tables and chairs have been done. So we've got Iron doors, just the top half. A section of bed, and then we've got a nice little little section here. But this is all very pristine and white. It looks looks glorious. 
And out there, there's uh, so a couple of games going on on the lawn. Someone having a picnic. Uh, oh, I think there's some heads we're missing. Yeah, look. There's a few people out here having picnics and playing a game of croquet, I imagine. Or, yeah, actually, I think that is croquet. Very large, very large sections here. We've got off track, but there's like a pagoda in the back there. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's very cool. I like that. Wow, just look at that view as well. Lovely. Yep, yeah, so it's a pagoda. Um, so you can come out here, enjoy your your garden life as well, and you can come on inside. Oh, wow. Oh, these are really exquisite details in here as well, Akira. Ah, I've just filled with inspiration. I, I honestly want to, as soon as I finish watching this, or finish filming this, I want to go off and build a little bit. I'm, I'm that inspired now. So let's make our way back over to the house. Right, well, we'll go in this side here then and see where this leads us to. Oh, there's no door here. <laughs> we need to go in through here. Yep. Yeah. All right, we have a blue room. Ooh. Fancy. Oh, very pretty. Again, loads of details going on. And then this leads through into... Ooh. Another type of drawing room. Very large room, this one. Statues and other things adorn there. Uh, there's no door over there, but there is this side. This leads us back out to here. Right, so I think that's the ground floor done. Right, should we venture upstairs then? Oh, what looks to be a very grand staircase. Oh, there's like a, a mezzanine level. A little, uh, a little office. I guess the same over this side. Yes, small little office room. Nice. Up to the main one. Ah, there's the very large picture of us all. Which probably needs updating as it's, it's quite out of date now. Uh, we've got some a bedroom in here. Yep. Uh, more bedrooms through here. No. Ooh. The frames are starting to go. Right. Oh, this is glorious. The pink room. A little screen to get changed behind. Oh, and your own private bathroom. Just look at that. I've never seen purple blocks used like that properly. That does look very, very fancy indeed. Come round here. We've got more rooms, more staircases. Oh, it's like a full-on maze. Oh, this is incredible. Do you know what? I think we're going to have to come back and do a proper tour on this place. Maybe I'll even drag, drag Akira around it so they can show us exactly... Well, exactly what's what and where's where. So uh, that might be good. Or I may even look it up so I have a bit more information this time on uh, the, the rooms and the uh, facilities in here. Or maybe even next time it'll actually be finished. So we'll see. But yes, let's get back outside. Right then. Well, that's been another server update tour here from the Terra 1912 server. Well, that's a name I probably should have opened with, but... We'll get to that later. I'll probably have to put a whole video out on what's happened with the whole change of the community over from being the WBC build server to being the Terra 1912 server. But like I said, be sure to stick around for the video all about San Alexandro and then the separate video all about the town of Linford upon Avon, which I'll be releasing soon uh, just to show off Burgies and Goblin's work. So anyway, guys, remember until next time, get inspired, get building. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.